everybody, it's Ashley and Jerome here from Atmosphere Collectibles. And um, so I think we're on like week three of the shutdown. And so we thought we would show some of what we've been doing during the time we've been closed uh, to the public anyway. So we've um, got lots of we're new records to show. Records. Uh, yes, lots. Hope everybody out there is safe and yes. um, everybody's family is safe. Um, we're going to start with some that um, we're actually keeping. So Yeah, this will be a combo uh, video. Some of the new inventory and then some of the uh, records that we just got in uh, our collection that we're really excited about. What? Okay. Well, I'm really excited about um, this first one. Uh, this was gifted to me by a friend. Uh, thank you, Casey Tucker. <laughs> uh, he surprised me with Billie Eilish. This is live at Third Man. It's on uh, green vinyl, and I've listened to it multiple times already. Um, I really am so happy. To, I never thought I would have this. Uh, um, so this is quite a big surprise, and I'm really thrilled on this one. This is uh, Camoteo, and I think that's how you say it. I don't know, but it's, uh, it's a great record with uh, electronic, hip-hop, uh, dance, kind of dancey. Um, we're listening to it right now. Yeah, actually. and it's just uh, it's really good. If you like LP, you would probably really dig this. Um, yeah, yeah and he was um, a definitive Jux artist, so he was on that label. This is just everything on that label is really good. So, and this uh, is on red vinyl. It comes out on red vinyl, and we um, he actually passed away um, a few years ago. So. Uh, and we do sell these them. too, yes. so uh, we, I think we may be out right now, but we have we have more coming in. That's our copy, and then uh, plays fully. Uh, something else we sell that we yes. really like. Uh, we've been trying to order heavy on this because um, we've been turning a lot of our locals on to Blaze Foley, uh, which is one of the things that we miss about having the doors open to the public is. Getting when customers come in and you know what their musical taste is and you're like, oh, I got to play this record for you. So what we started doing is making like playlists on YouTube and then sharing that of some stuff that we just got in. Um, but Blaze Foley, uh, if you like uh, singer songwriter country type Towns Van Zandt, uh, there's um, really good. Yes, another one that's passed away and gone too soon. Um. So these next two aren't two we're keeping. Actually, they've already sold, but I thought I would show them because they're kind of cool. Uh, one is uh, regional, and it's uh, Amlet, and they were from Evansville. Shadow Records, which uh, is also local. And the other is from Ohio, and it's a band called Asher. And this one came out in 1980, and this one is on uh, Zipper Leg, and it came out in 1984. But uh, both regional press, both very hard to find, so I thought I would show them why. Uh, before we ship them. <laughs> yeah, before we ship them. This is another really cool one. Uh, so this is Plan Asia, which is uh, Mother Earth's Plan Asia, actually, which is an electronic album. If uh, you listen to um, any video game soundtracks, uh, and this came out in 76, 76. 1976. And, um... Uh, Mark, Gar Mark Garrison, or Gar Garson. <laughs> the guy that did the uh, album Lucifer, but, and also did some weird Wizard of Oz electronics record. But this is really his highlight, and if you listen to it, you can kind of tell where, like, Zelda and uh, a lot of video games and stuff were definitely influenced, the music. Uh, it's, uh, it's called Warm Earth Music for Plants and the People Who Love Them, and it comes with a really cool little booklet insert. And um, recently they did a reissue of on green vinyl and we were like really close to ordering that and then we didn't at the time uh, we you know whatever and then um, this is an original yeah original which print. is super cool I don't know that we'll keep it but I'll keep it for well, a while. yeah we'll keep it for a little while and then we're gonna sell it so. uh, that's just sort of um, an exciting one to get uh, this is one that this is the last Voivod I needed to uh, complete my collection and um it actually you know i think uh mike perry put it in. yep one of our customers and, brought it um, in um on trade and uh it was sort of a you know random uh random one in the 
I said, where'd this one come from? And he said, oh, someone gave it to me. And I was like, this is a drone record. <laughs> I already it is. knew. It's actually the I last actually wasn't for sure if he had it, and he didn't. So and that's that completes Jerome's Boy Boy collection. That's another one from that same. Uh, time. Yeah, um, this is Mordred, which is uh, thrash, uh, funk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's definitely different. This is one that's actually probably going to be available Sunday. So, um, I'm just holding it so the glare. You know? It's a uh, it's a cool record. If you don't own it, just check it out. There's another one that you'll probably see on Sunday, and it's Rap Child America. Um, Climb of the Walls. Yeah, good thrash. 1989. Uh, this is a German import, and uh, Jerome's all about that thrash. So. Oh, can I do this one? Yeah. Okay. This is Amigo the Devil, and uh, it's called, it's volume one. Uh, I think it's a compilation, but it is awesome, and it was a gift from one of our friends. Uh, thank you, Alex. Uh, that was, it was, uh, she actually gifted that to us on Valentine's Day, and um, we're thrilled. The only, I had a, a friend let me, another friend let me borrow a copy. We really enjoyed it, and then, right, right, right. Um, but it was not as easy to track down um, as you know what we'd hope. So she surprised me with this, and I'm thrilled. So we can't thank her enough. Um, um the damned. This is uh, we got we got in a huge collection, and um, got a lot of stuff like the damned, uh, the Smiths. Um, and that's uh, all stuff you'll probably see on Sunday. So I already have that one, thankfully. Okay, so can I do this one? Yeah. Uh, Bob Dylan, it's called Stealing. And this is a uh, 1969 bootleg. It is one of the first bootlegs of the Rocket era, it says. Um, it's on Hard Cub Records, which before the uh, TMR, what is that one called? The TMRQ or quality. quality records or whatever those bootlegs are. Before those, uh, when they would release a bootleg, they would change the name of the label for each one. And um, but anyway, it's really neat. Uh, it says, um, oh, it's got 196 side A is 1965 studio outtakes, the first three from Highway 61 sessions and. Um, then two songs from Bringing It, and then on side B, it's Minnesota Tapes, uh, 60, 1961, and it's hey, really cool for a uh, Dylan collector or a bootleg collector, I think it's a pretty cool find. Okay, uh, Crazy World of uh, Arthur Brown, um, Kingdom Come, this is uh, one we've shown before. And uh, got back in, and I don't know. I think this time we're gonna be taking out for a while. So, <laughs> yeah, it's a 1972 uh, UK import, and Arthur Brown um, is very interesting. So, it's proggy, psych rock. Um, oh, Trey Reed, uh, Bang Bang, your Trey Reed. This is his first album. We have uh, his second record, self titled, which is we probably listen to once a week uh, yeah, probably more than that <laughs> um i like this one a lot too yeah. and i'm gonna hang on to that yeah, one yeah we're happy happy to get so. that one in and then oh patty smith uh radio ethiopia um this is one with pissing in the river and uh 1976 and yeah it's a great record we listened to it enjoyed a lot This is kind of cool, because this is one that was never released to the public, and um, it was a promotional only. Um, there was no uh, for sale release of it, but... Uh, the, uh, the U.S. Air Force Jazz Ensemble with Sarah Vaughn. So that is very cool. So yeah, and it is a uh, white label promo. There is no regular version. That's kind of yeah. neat. Um, this is kind of cool because it's a, uh, it's a Billy Holiday comp, but, um, it's a early comp and it's what, seventies, early seventies. And, um, it's kind of neat. It's electronically re-recorded re to simulate stereo. <laughs> uh, this one we were really stoked to get. 
Uh, we ordered it new and ordered one for the store as well. Massive attack uh, protection. Um, this one is it's a really great um, copy. Sounds wonderful. And we, as we listened to it, realized like uh, obviously mezzanine is maybe our favorite, but this is the second. It's pretty and close. Like, very it's, close. It's very time. close. Um, and the uh, Billy Holiday and the Cerebon, those are probably going to go up on Sunday. Oh, so sorry, we got some of these mixed in, I guess. Uh, James Brown, super bad. And this is uh, distributed by Star Day, so it's got the uh, original address. So uh, anybody looking for early print? Uh, so it's live, recorded live. Yeah, awesome. I love James Brown. <laughs> uh, this one I ordered for us. Um, it's Manchester Orchestra Co. And um, well, this one Jerome played it enough uh, whenever. I didn't like it at first, and then he played it and played it and played it, and then something clicked, and then Where I just really it? liked it. So uh, I don't listen to a ton of Manchester Orchestra because at first the guy's voice sort of was hard for me to get used to, but then it clicked, and I really like this album. So we're happy to have it on vinyl now. <laughs> okay. Um, take it easy, baby. Uh, Rory Gallagher. Um, this is kind of a cool record because it's uh, been retitled over the years. This is actually the fourth or fifth taste record for the later ones. It was called First or First Taste, depending on which uh, label. But uh, it's a cool variant. And, and we're keeping it. <laughs> yeah, yeah we're definitely keeping it. Uh, Roy Gallagher Live. Live in Europe, 1972. Which, this is another variant. And actually, I think this version is just live. I think the Live in Europe was the original. Oh. Yeah. Oh, these are for some. Are we got these mixed right now? Oh, yeah, I yeah. Um, well, we always get asked for Tom Petty. And um, so far, this is the Tom Petty we've gotten out of the recent collection. Uh, Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. we got Damn the Torpedoes from 79. And 81, we've got Hard Promises. And this one has the poster inside, which is pretty cool. Um, this is this is uh, another one I'm keeping because it's uh, what I needed. Uh, <laughs> I Have Legacy and uh, some of the later ones. But I didn't have the second one, which I'm sure I've had it before. I don't know. but uh, Testament, The New Order. It's, uh, it's a great record. He was really happy to get that one. And then another one that came in on trade, oh, one of our good customers, uh, he is a big fan of Greg Dooley and Afghan wigs and all that stuff as well as yeah, we are. Sure uh, I don't think it would show oh, okay. up, but, well. um, so the, I'll put my hand up. Okay. So uh, this is not on the, this is Twilight Singers and it is, um, on the record, the cover of the record is not censored. Uh, on the CD, it's, you know, blurred out or whatever, but not on the record. And it's uh, She Loves You. It's awesome covers. If you're not familiar with Twilight Singers, this was a grill of ours. That's their third record. Their second one, I'm still really looking to get. The first one's never been put out on vinyl. But, uh, yeah, that was definitely a big one on my list. So. Yes, so we are, thank you to Adam for bringing that in on trade. Uh, he's a big fan as well, but... He knew how much uh, we were looking for, or the drone was really wanting it, so um, he brought it on trade, and that's that's a big, big one there for us. So, and these, uh, some of these will probably be going out, and some of them will not. But um, these are kind of cool because uh, Juliana Hatfield. I didn't even know this was this had gotten a release or uh, Blake Babies. I didn't know they did the comp, and this is her newest, and. She's awesome. So. Yeah, Juliana Hatfield, uh, Hey Babe, I think it's like colored vinyl. And the Blake Baby is Innocence and Experience, I believe it's colored vinyl. And these are on American Laundromat Records. Um, so that's really uh, cool. And I think the 45 is autographed. This one is called Weird, and it has a track called Staying In, which is kind of about quarantine. And then weird. this is Juliana Hatfield 3, uh, Whatever My Love. Another reissue that we're which that cover is, I believe, slightly different, but that's a uh, that's a great record. 
Oh, more damned. This is live 1980, and unlike the other one, uh, I'm not sure I have that one, so I wanted to check. But, <laughs> I think uh, he does, but we'll see. Uh, this is what we have, so we're going to have it for sale. Uh, so when he says Sunday, uh, on our Facebook page, Atmosphere Collectibles Facebook page, uh, Sundays we've been doing live virtual shopping, and um, where we're doing straight sales. We may incorporate a little bit more auction options, style mostly. just because... Um, so many people are claiming the same same record, but it's a lot of fun. Um, it, of course, we'd rather be seeing our customers in person, but we got to do what we got to do. It, so it is really strange, like that we're when we're up here and uh, we're here and nobody comes in. It's uh, yeah, but it's wild because we've been stick. We've got so much record, so many records to price. There's so much work to do. So obviously, most of our business, all of our business now, we're shipping items a, a lot more than before. So that takes up a lot of time, and then trying There's to clean and price and grade shipping. records. Um, but again, um, we just appreciate the support we've been shown. So we're really truly blessed. Uh, sugar cube or sugar cubes. Life, life's too good. And that's the one with motor crash and bright day, and it's. Uh, just a great record. Yeah, 1988 uh, uh, original. And um, I think we just recently sold a reissue of, uh, we also got her, their second album that we're getting more uh, in restock. Uh, this is a really beautiful original print of Rolling Stones, Let It Bleed. It's still in the shrink. It's from 1969. Uh, it's got that Blue London uh, label. No, go ahead. Go. And uh, and it's got the poster, which is really awesome. Uh, we've also got another. We've also got several other early prints yeah. of uh, that them. album. So if you're not wanting a super pricey one, we have you know yeah. prints in the twenty dollar uh, mark, and some maybe even cheaper if we have a VG copy out right. there. Right. You want so. back there? Uh, this one is uh, Kentucky Nightmare uh, in the house. Facing South. It is a uh, 2000s private press. I think they're from Bloomington. And, and it's uh, uh, named after a Space Ghost episode, which is <laughs> which is really cool. Okay. Um, you want to pull on this side? Yeah, we got this Queen. Side. Yeah. Uh, Self-titled. <coughs> this is a second press. Um, we can always use Queen in. Is this one that you wanted to do? Oh, John Travolta. <laughs> um, yeah, he had a music career, so <laughs> that will be going up on Sunday. So. Little Johnny Cash. And that's actually a Two Eye Columbia press, uh, which I believe is in really great shape, and that one will be going out on Sunday. Okay, this one is interesting. Uh, this is some private press from Illinois. Uh, it's from 1980. It's called Whiskey Dreams 100 Proof Music. Um, so yeah, it is uh, Morton, Illinois, and it's on. Um, uh, I don't know. It's pretty. De it's sort of desirable. It's kind of southern rock. Comes up as like uh, psychedelic country, but it just interesting private press stuff there. Yeah, there's. Uh, if you want to check it out, you can check it out on YouTube. Yes, so we just uploaded YouTube. the whole album. Mm -hmm. That's really. Yeah. And another one we've got double of. We've got our favorite, my favorite, our favorite live album. One of them. Uh, Talking Heads, Stop Making Sense. This now, is the same way, like at home, I have both these versions. Yeah. Well, this one, it says it's the 998 version. Uh, and, um, but the track listing is the same. But Jerome's got a promo version that looks like this. And it includes a booklet, which is really cool. So. And then this version, too. Which, those will be going up on Sunday. Yeah, those we are, have both of those, so... <laughs> those are, like, if you, don't, if you don't have that record, you should... And then we've got... Oh. Oh, this is definitely a keeper. Uh, Agathocles, Agathocles, uh, however you want to say it, but, uh, or just Ag. Um, this is Vincent Three Maples, and it's a live album, and it's... Uh, it's this is drum music right grindcore. there. He's a huge fan of that band. And um, got a couple original prints of The Smiths. And what are those? UK, isn't it? Nope. 
No, both. Sorry, I'm going. Got, I cleaned these up and priced them. So, uh, this one's 1984 Winchester Pressy, uh, self-titled Smiths, and then Meat is Murder, uh, 1985 SRC Press. I think what I was just mentioning that, um, you know, on the back, it the U.S. version had How Soon Is Now, which is one of the best Smith songs, <laughs> but um, and it's not listed on the track listing, but it's on it's on the label of the record. But it was like an extra bonus on the U.S. press, um, which is interesting. Oh. And these are just on there because they were going home. Uh, I got two uh, pumpkin head. Uh, I think, I think I've showed shown this, this one. one before. And this is one I actually found in the in bins. A back. <laughs> and I was just like, what? Yeah, we're like, wait, but, uh, uh, we like I pumpkin really like pumpkin head, head, so. so. Uh, it's uh, company flow related. Sort of, yeah, company flow related. It's, I don't know. The birds? That is one of the later birds albums I actually did not have. And it's uh, got the uh, same lineup pretty much as uh, Dr. Bird, Mr. Hyde, and um, Easy Rider, and uh, Untitled, and all the all their, their best stuff. Uh, <laughs> kind of more of their country stuff, I guess. But uh, anyway, that's a great record. Uh, another Talking Heads, uh, True Stories. Uh, this is a Gold Stamp promo, and this one will be available on Sunday or, you know, for sale. This is another regional one. It's on Shadow Records. We've had yeah. all their stuff pretty much. Yeah, we uh, really have. It's from 1978, and so Shadow Records was at Evansville, Indiana. So we're, that's pretty cool to us. Um, Pink Floyd. This is a Run Like Hell 12 inch uh, white label promo single, uh, which is pretty neat. It's got Don't Leave Me Now on the flip. So, Blue Cheer. Great band. This is a uh, 1969, and um, that vinyl is excellent. So this one will be available, but we're big fans of Blue Cheer around here, so that's awesome. Yeah, we uh, we bought a huge collection, and some of the covers uh, have some wear, but the records were just in really great shape. Yeah. So it was... we got a couple Madonna albums. We got True Blue, and we have Like a Virgin. Those yep. are both available. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I like I like that stuff too. I just already have it. So. Mm -hmm. uh, Hazel Atkins. Uh, this is a trade, and it's uh, out to hunch. And Hazel Atkins is great. We actually have also uh, Hazel Atkins. What the hell was I thinking? Which is a great record. So. Uh, this is one that we got in on trade, and I think I decided to go ahead and just keep it for, at least for now, Flight of the Concords. Um, I mean, we watched that show together. We really enjoyed it and enjoyed the music as well. So, uh, yeah, we're glad to have that stuff, too. And uh, Pink Floyd. Animals. Animals. Original. No barcode on the back. Um, and then, oh, yeah, so this order... We've got um, seven volumes of Greasy Rock and Roll. Um, they're compilations by Norton Records. And um, so it's just like rock and roll comps that have some like that might be forgotten artists. Some or, garage, you know, some, garage. some rockabilly, um, pretty much anything that rocks. Uh, yeah. Some Bo Diddley. Um, Just uh, all kinds of cool stuff that rocks. So yeah, we're excited to get those in. We're probably gonna, we probably won't keep all eight volumes, but we will narrow it down um, after we listen to them. And this one was a major surprise for me. Uh, thank you, Brian Salee. I'm Blues of Closure is my number one favorite uh, band. So I uh, and I I mentioned that um, I think I was showing off in, on Facebook and our regional group. Um, all my collection of Blues Explosion and I was like you know I don't have them all and he was like yeah you don't 
how, you know, so he surprised me, uh, sent me a package in the mail, sent me, uh, meat and bone, which I didn't have. And I am so excited to have it. Um, I think I had the CD. I bought the CD when this came out. I didn't buy the record. I don't know why or how that worked out, but anyway, thank you, Brian. Uh, we really, really, I really, really appreciate it. It was a wonderful surprise and, um, I'm that much closer to having a complete Blues Explosion collection. Okay. So this whole row right here, this is all metal, uh, Metallica. Kevin Crocus, Crocus. Judas Priest, more Judas Priest. Uh, <laughs> Molly Crew. One of those are sealed. One of yeah, the theater paid. More Molly Crew. Mm -hmm. Dr. Feelgood. Yeah. We got multiple Cinderella's. Um, we got Long Cold Winter. And then Night Songs. And then a VG Night Songs uh, with Little Wear on the cover. Um, Aerosmith. Then Lizzie, Siltron, Rainbow. Vinnie Vincent Invasion. Vinnie Vincent Invasion. And then we've got Thin Lizzie and Bon Jovi. <laughs> White Snake, Helix, more White Snake. And this is the alternate recording of this one. Uh, Judas Priest, Double Live Triumph. Great White, too shy, or Twice Shy. Uh, I also got in a copy in this collection of Once Bitten, but I already sold it. So there's Twice Shy. Autograph, that's autographed by Autograph. <laughs> uh, Woohoo! Uh, UDO, which is Udo from um, Accept. And we got Rat, self titled EP, six track EP from 1984. On uh, the Time Coast Communications, Fastway, ACDC, Let There Be Rock. I mean, it's really off the hook. Um. Oh. I uh, would also like to mention, um, rest in peace, Bill B-52s, B The Runaways, Jim Morrison, or, you know, The Doors. Uh, we also have some early blue stuff um, that we're going to have. Uh, Blind Willie McTell, last session. Um, some really cool labels. Um, stuff cool you stuff. just don't see. Sleepy John Estes. Just really neat stuff. We also have a whole row of blues reprints and stuff that just hasn't been... We also have great used titles that we um, will be bringing in on Sunday. We may do an auction on the Tom Petty Full Moon Fever. Um, we've got Scorpions, Great, Great White, This Is Live, Boston Self Titled, The Flying Burrito Brothers, King Crimson, King Crimson, Surfer Blood, Back to the Future, The Cult, Blondie. Uh, Jimmy Page, that one's still sealed. The Doors, Grand Funk, first album, amazing record. So, uh, also what I didn't show yet, we've got this Mor uh, Morbid Tales. It is a tribute to Morbid Tales, and you've got people like Muni Municipal Waste, um, Acid Witch, Evoken, uh, Phil Ensemble. Uh, they do the whole album of uh, Celtic Frost's classic album, Morbid Tales. And I also have the book, a book that's really neat. We may do a combo deal on this one, um, but this is really cool. Jerome's a big fan of Celtic Frost. So I got him a copy and I thought it'd be nice to have one for the store. Um, so happy to have those in as well. So Sunday, Atmosphere Collectibles Facebook page. Uh, live sale starting at 7 central. And we'll be putting up a playlist within the next few hours. Check out our playlist. Um, hey everybody, uh, Ashley from Atmosphere Collectibles here. I was just wanting to show some of the new inventory that we just got in and that uh, we will be bringing a lot of it to uh, a live virtual shopping sale from our Facebook page, Atmosphere Collectibles. 
Uh, this is going to be Sunday, uh, Easter Sunday. <laughs> um, so if you're stuck at home, why don't come and hang out with us? Uh, let me show you some of the stuff that we're going to be bringing that we're excited about. Uh, we are restocked on our Tafalco Panther Burns, Little Rockabilly, uh, Hazel Atkins, the Country Rockers Free Range Chicken. Uh, here's some of like the hip hop and stuff like that we will have. The Black Eyed Peas, The End. This is the one that has like Boom Boom Pow, uh, D12. This is their first album. It's got a lenticular cover. It's the one that has purple pills on it. I love this one. So, um, Camu Tao. Uh, this one's red vinyl. Excellent dance pop electro. Great stuff. Um, Showbiz and AG. Runaway Slave. Classic hip hop. Um, Eric B and Rakim. Follow the leader. This is gold vinyl. Also, um, Will Smith, Willinium. This is a music on vinyl reissue. A really great album from Common. It's called Finding Forever. Um, double LP. Definitely. It's a executive producer by Kanye West. And um, really good stuff. Iggy Azalea, the new classic. <laughs> If that don't sound, I might keep it. <laughs> no. um, also, we have uh, restocked on the Roland S. Howard. We've also got a Teenage Snuff Film. Um, this is a Vessel. Yeah, Vessel. Um, Anthrax, new album. Got some different Rob Zombies this time. Uh, this one's got that cool lenticular cover as well. And then we've got uh, Sinister Urge. American Made Music to Strip By. Uh, this one we hadn't gotten in for a while. Um, Hate Filled World. This one's really neat. It's got uh, 3D glasses. And also, um, look for us. We're going to be making a new playlist. Uh, with featuring um, some of the artists that we just have in. called Slow Burn, or Slow Death, I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. Uh, this one's called Slow Death, and it's got the uh, lenticular, or it's got, sorry. This one's really cool. It's Slow Death, Heat Filled World. It's got some 3D glasses that comes with it. Um, if you're unfamiliar with some of these artists, uh, look for our playlist that we'll be creating on YouTube. We'll also share that as well. Uh, Immortal Bird, um, restocked on the Bloodhound Gang, One Fierce Beer Coaster. This is on yellow vinyl. It's got Firewater Burn on it. Uh, really excited to have that in. Cemetery Urn, Barbaric Retribution, restocked on Dead Boy and the Elephant Man, if you're a fan of Dax Riggs. Iron Maiden, really great hardcore from Australia. Deceased, 13 Frightened Souls. This is the first band that was signed to Relapse Records. Cannibal Corpse. This is the Mail Order uh, Blue Vinyl version. Um, Din, Iron Desert. Very cool uh, Record Store Day comp, Total Chaos, early years, 89 to 93. Night Vapor. Ramstein self-titled. It's their newest one. <laughs> Sharknado 3. Got restocked on that. That was a record store day title. Um, got a little James Brown. Uh, Bill, Ca Bill Callahan. This also comes with a DVD. Don Golden. This is some trance type. Very cool. We'll have that on the playlist. Restocked on the Dead Fingers. Really, really enjoyable album uh also we own a copy that's how much we like it also this same with x cops i i can't recommend this enough uh got a couple heartless bastard records this is some good lo-fi indie rock uh we'll have that on our playlist as well ivan and alosha this is um if you are a fan of bonnie prince billy you should definitely check this out we'll also include it that on our playlist. 
uh, Andrew Bird, A.A. A. Bondi, restocked on the um, uh, crocodiles. Another, another Ivan and Alosha, Al Alyosha, Disturbing Wildlife. Or, uh, no, this one's uh, Invisible Familiars. It's called Disturbing Wildlife. Uh, this one is Luggage. Luggage, and it's called Shift. Morning Teleportation. This one's a band that's um, on the same label as Modest Mouse, and they're from uh, uh, Kentucky, which is pretty close by. Uh, Mary, uh, Marie and Lepanto, Tin Killer. Also, we really enjoy this one. We'll have this one on the playlist. Another copy of Mean Lady. That's fun music. Sir Sly, You Haunt Me. Uh, this one I thought was really good, too, if you like the guy's vocals remind me of Manchester Orchestra. Uh, we've got Soccer Mommy. I've got another album of hers, too, somewhere mixed in here. Uh, Tile. Uh, we've also got Restocked on the um, Alice Donut Picture Disc with DVD. Um, the Beavis Frond. Definitely check them out, too. They're kind of like um, 80s hike. Uh, they... If you like Jesus and Mary Jane or like that 80s I don't know, alternative type feel, it's really nice. Um, Blink-182. Uh, this is the Urban Outfitters exclusive pink vinyl. We're stocked on B uh, Black Keys. Guster. Malacant. Reissue. Audiophile. Pearl Jam. Backspacer. The die cut sleeve. It's real nice quality. Restocked up on Parquet Quartz, REM Document, Rihanna. This I was excited about. This is a um, Bear Family Records reissue of the Ronettes. Um, this is just called the Ronettes featuring Veronica. The original had a different cover than this one, but it is come up as a full length. And Bear Family does great quality reissues. Uh, here we've got restocked on all of the 200 and gram Rush reissues, audio file reissues. We've got Power Windows, Hold Your Fire, Grace Under Pressure, and Show of Hands. Those all are amazing sound quality. Uh, we've got Music on Vinyl reissue of a band called Stray. If you like heavy, hard rock, uh, psych, they um, definitely check out this band. Uh, I think they were from England, and this is numbered. Uh, definitely worth checking out. We'll have it on the playlist. Sugar Cube's second album, here today, tomorrow, next week. This is also audio file pressing, and it is numbered and limited. Um, U2, the best of, 1990 to 2000. We are restocked on X. Uh, the Mothers of Invention, Burnt Winnie Sandwich, and Zappa Zoot Allures. Uh, we also have a reissue of Steve Ray Vaughan and the Double Trouble, Texas Flood, Bell Blues Action, Samantha Fish, Bell of the West, Chills and Fever. Having a hard time keeping her in stock, but we are trying to fulfill. The uh, need there, Johnny Winter with Dr. John, live in Sweden, 1987. Now, this we just thought was really cool, if, you know, blues legend with Johnny Winter there and Dr. John, who recently passed away. Uh, new beats from the Delta. Uh, blues music mixed with hip-hop beats, a very cool release. Our favorite R&B album of all time, Gator Davis, Sweet Woman's Love. This is a Bear Family reissue, which... We're a big fan. We stocked on Al Green. More Sam Frazier. Um, Southern Soul. O.V. Wright. Amazing Soul R&B. Um, this one's live and then this one's not. This is Gospel and it is a compilation. And it's definitely worth checking out. Designer Records presents together. And it's really good. Sunday Nights, uh, Songs of Junior Kimbrough, done by people like Iggy and the Stooges and the Black Keys and 
Blues Explosion, my favorite band, actually has one on there. Um, that's a great album. More of the blues. We got Junior Kimbrough, Dewey Corley. We'll do uh, a lot of these blues are kind of obscure artists. So uh, Mississippi John Earhart, Elmo Williams. So we'll include these on our playlist as well. Teddy Williams. Some of it's country blues. Some of it's Delta blues. Um, R.L. Burnside, one of my favorites of all time. Um, you know, so T. Model Ford. Then we got the blues comps. All three of those restocked. Um, this is a record. It was a record store day release. It's a reissue. It's called Early LA. It's got the Birds, Dino Valenti, the Dillards, David Crosby, Leon Russell, Gosden Brothers, and Dillard and Clark. Um, it's original half speed master recording. It has really great sound quality. I was excited. It's something different, and I like like that. Steve Earle and the Dukes, The Hard Way. This is some reissue. Hank Williams, I Saw the Light. Uh, this is a um, great compilation. And, I mean, he was the king of country music. It's got really good stuff. Steve Earle, Live from Texas. We really, we really like these uh, Austin City Limits. Uh, series by Nine West on 180 gram. The D side is etched. Also, we have the Dwight Yoakam back in stock. Um, something we hadn't gotten in before yet. Uh, Keith Urban. We've got Golden Road, and we also have Get uh, Get Closer. Um, modern country, uh, pop country, I guess. Uh, we also have. Marty Stewart, Hillbilly Rock, another Bear Family reissue. Tempted, Marty Stewart, Bear Family, great quality. Secret Sisters, self-titled, uh, it's executive producer by T-Bone Burnett. I think they got beautiful voices, and I, worth checking out. We'll include all these in our um, playlist. The Birds and uh, Dr. Bird and Mr. Hyde. This is the Birds album. Uh, it's psych country, or it's a it's a great combination. It's a music on vinyl reissue, and uh, it, it's a wonderful album. We own it in our collection as well. Uh, restock on the Charlie Daniels Band, Off the Grid, doing it Dylan. Uh, this is really cool. It's Charlie Daniels Band doing Dylan covers. Um, we are restocked on the Courtney Marie Andrews. Uh, this is. May Your Kindness Remain, and then this is the Acoustics EP that goes with this out, or, you know, uh, Courtney Marie Andrews, No One's Slate is Clean. She's got a beautiful voice. She also just, uh, I think her new album is just out now. This was the newest before that. Um, beautiful songwriter and beautiful voice. Obviously, we're restocked on all of our um, Towns Van Zandt. We... This is the one that's my favorite now, been my favorite, um, up there with Live at the Old Quarter, but in the beginning, 